I be trying to be professional, but <laughs> you know, I just want to keep it real. Hey, it's Janae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey. So y'all, today's video is a collective haul for two reasons. One, because I've been shopping a lot and I really wanna show you guys the new things in my wardrobe and my beauty collection. <laughs> I guess that's what we'll call it. But the second reason is because I did not do an April favorites video. The reason for that is because I've just been really busy and I tried to film it. Not even tried, I actually filmed it, but I was not satisfied with the footage and I didn't want to put out anything that I would I wasn't gonna be like 100% proud of you know so I decided to just scratch that and do a collective haul instead I did one before back in November and you guys really enjoyed it so I was like you know let's just do another one um I got some new like stuff for my wardrobe so like we'll do some fashion and lots of beauty I don't think I have any lifestyle stuff I got like one lifestyle item but it kind of is still beauty so I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get into it. We're going to start with the item I'm wearing. This is a floral print cardigan from Zara. I love, love, love this. I've shown you guys this in a vlog before. But one of the things that I'm super obsessed with this season is just like really fun patterns and colors on tops and cardigans specifically. I know that like the pants and everything are in too, but I've been really into it for like my tops because, you know, I get to sit down <laughs> and make videos and sometimes it's just the waist up and so I feel like I can give you guys something interesting to look at if I'm like filming in something with a really pretty pattern or really pretty colors or whatever the case. My obsession for this started with this cardigan here which I for sure have shown y'all. I know y'all probably sick of this cardigan. Girl, I'm not sick of it, so. <laughs> but um, I got this one from Modern Episode, and I showed this to you guys in a Get Ready With Me and a vlog a couple weeks ago. But that sparked my obsession with like cardigans, um, printed cardigans. So I found this one at Zara. It's really, really pretty. I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, and so I knew I had to get this. This did have like a matching top and like shorts, but I felt like I was going a little overboard. Um, so the cardigan was enough for me. Super, super cute. I will be sure to link it in the description box along with everything else I mentioned in this video. So next up from Zara is this two piece. Now this is something that I will have to pop a picture up on the screen from the website because I haven't worn it yet. But I love this color. It's like a Kelly green. It's like a button up shirt. I'm holding it too high. A button up shirt and like matching pants. And this is so, so, so cute, y'all. Like, I imagine wearing this with heels. You can wear this with sneakers or you can wear it with like really cute sandals. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to style it yet, but I do know I'm going to color block this. Thinking about doing it with orange. Um, okay. Let's just get into it. I was gonna try to keep this in a specific order, but since we're on the topic of the shoes I plan on wearing with this outfit, um, they're actually right here. Y'all know, we. this is a super casual channel. Honestly, y'all are like my homegirls, so I'm just gonna keep it, I'm gonna just keep it like that. I be trying to be professional, but <laughs> you know, I just wanna keep it real. So these are the shoes that I'm probably gonna wear with this outfit. It's giving very Rattler. Okay, so I know I got some, um, I got some fan you subscribers, so shout out to y'all. But I promise y'all that orange and green is just really, really cute together in general. They are really good complimentary, um, complimentary colors. But these shoes, just, you know, we a little all over the place, but we're going to get where we need to go. These shoes are from one of my favorite places to get shoes, 12 AM Co. It is a black owned shoe teak. I have shown you guys like two pair of heels from them before um, and I love them. In fact, one of the pair, I already have these in black um, and the heel is clear. And I think for Mother's Day, they ran a sale and I know I'm not a mother, but I still treated myself because who gonna say no to a sale? I had to have these. I have been wanting some orange heels and I've been trying to find the perfect orange on the perfect style for a while. Um, and so I feel like this orange really complements my cup, um, my complexion. So I was like, let's just go with that one. Um, the other thing I love about these is that it has the square toe, very Bottega ish, super, super cute, but I already have these in black. So I knew I would love the way that they looked on my feet. They string up the leg. I kind of stack mine like right, right at my ankle. Cause my legs are long, but I'm short. So 
I normally don't like tie my laces all the way up my legs, but I'm definitely going to wear this together. I mean, I'm gonna wear it a few different ways, but one of the ways that I'm thinking about wearing this outfit is with these shoes. And I'm also thinking about wearing these shoes with this top, y'all. Let me tell y'all about what I went through for this top, okay? First of all, now that I have it and I've done further research, I realize it's actually a swimsuit. It literally says it in the tag, women's swimwear. But listen y'all, so I got this from Essence. This is from the brand, it's called Fincy. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Essence had their private sale recently and I was just like pressed to get something. The item that I truly want, just it just hasn't gone on sale yet. So well, hopefully it does, I have my eye on it. But this top, well this swimsuit, <laughs> I'm planning on wearing this as a top with some really cute like denim shorts and honestly these heels because I feel like that'll be a really cute look. But y'all, I ordered this top two times. The first time I ordered it, they like sent me an email saying that they couldn't find it in the warehouse and they like refunded me. And I was telling my best friend I was so sad because there was one other color that I was kind of interested in but it was pink and orange and I feel like this just stood out a little bit better. I'll pop a picture on the screen of the other option. Um, but I just felt like this was just cuter. And so I got really sad because I was like, dang, I really wanted that top. And then like three days later, I was just on Essence again, checking on the item that I really want to go on sale. And I saw that it was back. And I was like, let me just try to order it again. You know, fingers crossed. And they had it and they shipped it to me. So I'm really excited about it. I feel like it might be a little too big, mostly like, long because I have <laughs> my friends gonna kill me for saying this I have a short torso one of my friends is like you always talk about having a short torso in your um videos but it's true I do have a short torso so I feel like this is kind of long but y'all know I'll go up the street and get it tailored so it's it's truly nothing but definitely some like cute denim shorts and some heels and well those heels specifically would be super super cute with this like I cannot wait y'all this shirt, I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was 20% off. And even though my size is sold out, which was an extra small, they still have other sizes available, so I'll be sure to link it in the description box. Y'all let me know if this feels okay, because I do, I did have an order for this, but once I got into it, I was just like, we here now. <laughs> the next top I wanna show you guys is from a black owned boutique that I shop from often. It's called Modern Opulence. Look at this top. This is so, so, so cute. Again, I will put a picture on the screen because I haven't worn this yet. Um, I actually have to get this tailored. It's a little too big for me in the back, but great stretch, okay, great stretch. She has this available in a few other colors too, so I'll link it down below. Um, I cannot wait to wear this. This is so freaking cute. Like, I really wanna wear this with some wide lead, like light wash jeans. Um, and probably like a really cute like white sandal. I'll keep this really basic, keep it all about the top because this top is just truly a statement piece. Um, I need to steam it, it's a little wrinkled, but I recently took it out of the packaging, so just, just ignore that, just ignore that. <laughs> so I know we already talked about these shoes, but these were kind of next on the list. So again, these are from 12 AM Co, a black owned boutique. Shootique rather be sure to check them out y'all they have really really good quality heels really really good affordable heels sandals boots um even they have like really cute like um they even have like really cute fluffy house shoes that i think are so adorable i cannot wait to get a pair i just have already like 10 pair of freaking <laughs> house shoes so i need to relax okay <laughs> I promise y'all these are not house shoes. These are actual shoes that you wear outside. I've already worn them a few times. These are from Zara. And I actually have this sandal in a leather um, version or feather, uh, pleather, cause y'all know it ain't real leather. But um, they're kind of like the Hermes Oron sandal dupe in my head. I just really like the style of them and they're a lot more affordable than, than the um, Hermes ones, you know. But these are so super cute. Um, the little fuzzy, the shearling, is that what this is called, I believe? I think that's what it's called. Um, it was trending all fall and I got like that really cute bag. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to show y'all the bag. Let me show y'all the bag. So this is the bag. Um, I bought this bag on Black Friday from H&M, but this is such a cute little like set. <laughs> 
I know that this is typically a fabric that you would wear like in the fall or like the winter, but this is really cute for the summertime too. Like if I wanted to go really casual with this look, I could wear these little slides. I wouldn't wear this bag with that, but this bag and these shoes do complement each other like very well. Um, if I can find my sandals, the leather ones I have, I'll put a picture of them on the screen or something. Forget the screen, I went to get them. <laughs> These are the leather version or whatever, pleather, faux leather, whatever you wanna call it, girl. And I know these come in quite a few colors, including all black, and I've been thinking about getting that pair for work. I don't know, I might. But this is the new little fuzzy shearling. There's another name for this material. I don't know why it's escaping me right now, but Super, super cute. These are kind of like essential sandals in my opinion. They go with like everything, easy to wear, they're comfortable, you know. I'll put them in the description box. So next up in the fashion category is this hat. <laughs> Y'all, this hat is from Modern Episode, one of my favorite black owned boutiques. That one is actually located local here in Atlanta. So I know y'all have been seeing these hats. Hats like this are trending right now. There was actually one that Chelsea Jackson had that I love, love, love. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Peak and orange checkerboard, smaller than this, um, as far as the pattern goes. It was from Urban Outfitters, but I caught on to it late. It looks like TikTok ate the hat up, so it sold out. But I was so happy I found this one because this one is equally as cute. And um, I'm not gonna put it on my hair right now because I feel like I'm gonna mess my hair up. No, I can comb it. This is so cute, y'all. I would probably wear like a middle part or like when I get braids, this will definitely be like a look. I think it is so cute and so trendy. And I'm back and forth about trends most of the time, but sometimes I wanna participate. And I'm just like, you know, what the heck? But this is so cute. I would probably pull it like further down, but I'm trying not to like completely mess up my hair. Like, look at this. <laughs> now I got hat hair. But y'all, so cute. I will be sure to link this for sure because she has two colors. She has like a blue and green one too. And I was kind of torn between getting black and white or blue and green, but I decided on black and white because I was like, let's get something a little more classic. The blue and green one is really, really cute, but I just don't know how often I would wear it. Like I feel like I could throw this on with just about anything. And especially if I'm having like a bad hair day or something and you know, it's cute, it's, it's, it's in trend. And this is like knitted, so it's soft. It's not hard, completely flexible. If you need to travel with it, I'm sure you could do that too. But I like it, I like this a lot. <laughs> the last item in fashion I wanna show you guys is this purse. And I promise you, it's not curated cute at all right now. But um, we're gonna segue into beauty after this, and this is the stuff I wanna show y'all, so I felt like I should just put it in the purse. But this is from Modern Opulence. I did purchase this recently, and I've only worn it like once so far, but I love this little gold bag, y'all. I have been wanting like a gold clutch for a minute. I found one last year, but it's more like bronze. I needed something gold, and I love that this is like all gold hardware, like caged. Um, it's not 100% practical, I will say that. So this is definitely not an everyday bag. I mean, if you want it to be, it can be, but this is more of like a going out situation. It has a handle on it. And there are little holes right here. So I have this chain that's on this bag, this little bag right here. I have disconnected it from here and I've connected it to this so that I can just like throw it on my shoulder if I need to. But it's so freaking cute, y'all. It's from Modern Opulence. There's something flying in front of me. Um, I know often I talk about two of these boutiques and they sound very similar. One is Modern Opulence, one is Modern Episode. So just pay attention to the links because I know that those are very similar names but they're completely different. So this one is Modern Opulence. Now that you've seen the bag, let's get into what's in the bag because this is what's next. The beauty of it all, the beauty. <laughs> okay, so y'all know that I'm working at NARS now, so I'm super obsessed with like makeup and honestly not just NARS makeup, just like makeup in general. Um, and even though I like to keep a really natural, like glowy look, I'm still really interested in trying like new products and stuff. So we got a good little mix in here. No, we don't. It's two brands. It's Fenty and NARS. <laughs> so let me open this up as careful as I can. I'll just, I'll just do it like this because this actually, at the end of this, I'll show you guys how this bag opens because it kind of like completely opens and it like flattens out. So that's why I said it's not like practical, you know? <laughs> so the first thing I wanna show you guys is this liquid blush. This is in the shade Orgasm. 
um y'all know orgasm is like nars number one color and just about everything there's a lipstick a blush lip gloss lip balm um what else is an orgasm not just the blush there's variations of the blush there's a powder one a cream one and a liquid but anyway y'all so the powder one does not show up on me or like really any brown skin girl we can mostly use that as like a highlighter but the liquid on the other hand it gives a really really pretty like healthy glow like i have it on today i don't know if y'all can tell but i'm really really obsessed i'm obsessed with liquid blush in general especially for like the summer and springtime i've been like on this kick of wanting just like rosy cheeks at all times i've always been obsessed with blush but i would always go for like peachy more neutral colors that like wouldn't show up a whole whole lot they did just like enough but now like i want it to pop i want it to be pink i want it to be orange so there's another shade in this called luster that i'm really thinking about buying but right now this is my girl um it is a pump applicator so i actually just pump it on the back of my hand or on my palette and then i take my fingers do 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 mix it together put it on my cheeks i've been applying it with my hands i've been like that with a lot of my makeup lately so the next thing in here also by nars is the light reflecting um setting powder this is the press version this is in the shade sable so y'all probably looking at this like that's too dark for you but that's the thing i actually use this to contour it gives the lightest most natural contour this particular shade for me is called sable um myla put me on my co-worker myla if you watch my vlogs you've definitely met myla but yeah y'all i have one that's closer to my shade for like my actual setting but for bronze not bronzing for contouring i've really found it really easy to just use a powder like this remember i was telling you guys recently that i kind of struggle with contour i don't know if i'm doing enough or if i do too much it's one of the things that i'm just really I have to be really careful about because I'm not a pro at makeup and I feel like contouring is one of those things that you gotta master because you're literally like changing the shape and angles and shadows on your face you know so it's like I don't want to overdo it and be out here looking crazy and there's nobody to tell me I look crazy so you know I wanted something light and natural Myla put me onto this this shade so that's what I've been using to contour and I love that this compact is so like comp it's so strong because I can carry this around with me if I need to. There's a mirror in it. I don't necessarily carry around this one. I carry around my shade, which I feel like I should just show you since I'm talking about it. <laughs> okay, so this is the one I use. This is the shade Shore. So I'll show you. Let me color over the mirror so it doesn't do anything weird. And I definitely stuck my finger in it by mistake. But <laughs> so that's Shore. That's like my everyday setting powder. This is Sable. So you can kind of see the difference in the colors. I hope that helps. And just in case you guys are wondering, um, I wear NARS shade Tahoe in case you're like close to my complexion. So any of these products that I show you could definitely like work for you too. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys from NARS is this lip and I'm wearing it today. This is in the power matte. This is the shade bad guy. I love like really pretty pink like mauve colors and this is one of my faves now. It's just close to my lip color and it's just easy to like, it's like mistake proof. <laughs> I'm always looking for whatever is just gonna help me like make mistakes and nobody knows because I'm, like I always say, I'm just not a moi, okay? But um, I use like a liner, I think I use Trendsetter and Morphe. It's like a brown liner. And I just put this right on top and I really like it. It's matte, it's pretty, it's just like a natural everyday lip color. But this is what it looks like. So let's get into what else is in the bag. Now that there's less stuff in here, I feel like I can put it in my bag. Uh, but you guys see what I mean? Like it completely opens like this. So at first it wasn't completely practical to try to open it with all that stuff in it, but yeah. So I did a recent order from Fenty Beauty. I did show you guys this in a recent vlog. Um, I don't know if this, this will be up before or after that vlog. I'm, hopefully, don't make me lie. <laughs> so the first thing I wanna show you guys is this is a lip gloss. This is in the shade Fussy. This is the um, Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. 
I usually get the universal shade. I think it's just called Fenty Glow. But I have been told by my girls here on uh, YouTube that I need to try this shade. So I was like, why not? Let me just order it. And I like it so far. The only thing I will say is that I'm not used to... So this one has like silver specks in it. If you can see that. It's very like platinum based. And I'm used to more like goldish tones i just feel like they complement my skin better but um i'm like you know what let me try something new so i put this on top of my lips the other day when i went to a concert first of all the formula a1 i don't have anything bad to say about this lip gloss at all the formula is always going to give it's long lasting it's just the color i'm getting used to so i'm going to try this on my bare lips because i think that's that was the thing like the girls was like try it on your bare lips you're going to love it so i'll have to do that because i did have this same lip combo on when i tried it and it it complimented it well but i'm just used to like gold so i was like oh taking a little bit back <laughs> but it's okay I, I love it i love fenty the next thing I want to show you guys are my new eyeliners. Out of nowhere, I became a fan of eyeliner. I'm going to blame Myla for that too. Um, so I have two different formulas. I have her gel liner and I also have the new Wish You Would. When they, These are just like traditional wooden pencils. And this is in the shade Big Truffle. In Big Truffle? Yeah, In Big Truffle. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully it focuses. I got to do the YouTube hand. <laughs> So there's that one, it's like a reddish brown. I have it on today, only on my um, lower eyelid or my lower eye, whatever it's called, because usually eyeliner gives me a really bad headache. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me a bad headache. But matter of fact, I'm gonna actually swatch this on my hand, because the next one I'll show you guys, I want you guys to see the actual difference. This one is a gel liner, so it's a different consistency. This one is actually retractable. Let's see if it'll focus the camera gonna focus so you can like you know spin it to pull it up but this is big truffle on my hand here and then this is the next shade it's called puppy eyes y'all see that no because my camera being silly you can kind of see it so it's a lighter brown with like gold specks in it and this just kind of opens my eyes a little bit it helps me look like awake <laughs> and refreshed which i really really like um i love the consistency of both of these but if you are an eyeliner fan go with this one this one is really smooth really easy to apply again fail proof because i told y'all i'm very much beginner when it comes to makeup so um i do love both i want to get more colors in this one i think the only other color in the wooden one is black anyway I'm not like against black eyeliner. I just want like a softer look. So I try to go for like browns versus black. Um, unless it's like something I'm doing at night and I just want my eyes to look like bold. But she does have this in like some really fun colors. Like I want to get a white one. I've been saying I wanted white eyeliner for a while. So I can't wait to try it. I want to get a blue one. Um, she has another really pretty like gray color and I just think that I want to try them all so whenever Fenty Beauty has like a sale on eyeliners or like maybe the next like Sephora VIB sale I'm gonna get the rest but for now these will do me well these will do me fine <laughs> so last but not least from Fenty Beauty is whoop, the whole reason I ordered from Fenty Beauty in the first place this is the Invisimat blotting powder and universal that's the shade so it's good for everybody I really really wanted this I've been wanting this y'all for a while and word on the street is it's viral on TikTok but I promise you I wanted it before that I actually been looking at this for like maybe years okay um, my best friend recently told me like to just pull the plug and get it because she says that she always uses it so I wanted to get this during the Sephora VIB sale, but I kept taking it out of my cart. I don't know, but y'all, so it's a really cute compact and the powder is in here. It's just for like when you get oily. I'm trying to keep the light from like hitting the camera and reflecting crazy. That's why I'm holding it like this, but let me bring it closer so you guys can see. So it's just a really like neutral, translucent blotting powder and it comes with this little sponge. Mine is dirty because I definitely used it over the weekend. Um, but I purchased the matching brush and I'm a little skeptical about the brush, but it's cute. So we just going to go with it. I need to clean it. Actually, I used it over the weekend, but, um, it's just a cute, it's a cute piece for your purse. Like you just need to touch up. That's literally what this is called a touch up brush. So you just, you know, push it up to get the brush, the little hairs. It's like slanted angled. 
Are you gonna focus? My camera been misbehaving lately, girl. Do I need a new one? So it looks like this and then it's just retractable. You just push it back down or pull it back up, whatever. And then put the top on. Here you have it. So I've been walking around with this in my purse, like to touch up, especially because the other day I went to um, a concert and so I was out all day and then out all night and I needed to touch up my makeup. So this definitely came in handy. A1 on the formula. If you can get your hands on this, I will say get it. Do believe the hype is worth it. Um, I don't know where you're going to get it from because I definitely had to check like several stores. I ended up having to order it online through Ulta. Then I ordered the brush on Fenty Beauty. But it is carried at like Sephora, Ulta, of course the Fenty website. Um, I'm sure it'll come back in stock. But you know, keep on the, keep an eye out for it girl. I'll link it in the description box. So last but not least in this bag is my new little hand head mirror. Hand... <laughs> I cannot talk. The last thing in here is my new handheld mirror from Glossier. So I bought these for my best friend and I got us matching little Glossier mirrors. They're so cute. So it's just a little circle. The infamous pink G is on the back. And then the first one says, you look good. Y'all see all my equipment. <laughs> but it just says, you look good across the bottom. And this is the little like dust bag that you keep it in. And I just wanted to... A, give my Chanel compact a break because I can't find the sleeve that it goes in. Y'all, my camera start recording. <sighs> Teddy, I was saying the the Chanel compact mirror is just like in my um in my purse, getting all types of beat up and scratched up. So I just wanted to get something else to replace it. These are so cute. I think that they they come in stock often, but they sell out fast because they're so inexpensive. They're like ten dollars. Um, and if you know about Glossier, you know Glossier is a really, really cute brand. So all the things, all the things, girl, um, from Glossier are super cute. So if you need an alternative for a cute, like, compact mirror to keep in your purse, I definitely recommend this. And it is a good mirror, okay? Like, it's not just cute. It's actually good. Um, not 100% magnifying. It's not all in your face. But if you need to see your face while you're out, that's going to get you there. <laughs> okay, so off makeup... Y'all, I swear, I really wanted this to be like a, 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 I wanted this video to flow well, but it's starting to just feel a little all over the place, but we just gonna go with it because, again, we are here. Okay, so, uh, what are we gonna segue into? Oh my God, I forgot to show you guys. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys these sunglasses after I showed you the hat. So these are also from Modern Opulence. I love these, okay? Like, I've become such a sunglasses girl. I don't know how that happened, but I love sunglasses. So these are like blue and they have like a brownish tint to them, but they're not completely dark. So I've been wearing them as just like glasses. <laughs> so I wore these the other night to a concert. Super, super cute. I'll put a picture on the screen. These are also from Modern Episode. Check the description box out. If you need like just cute, unique, accessories okay before you go to like these really expensive places be sure you check with like your local black owned boutiques because they like always have what you need okay like always like modern episode never fails me never fails me never <laughs> so yes these sunglasses super super cute um wait a minute now do we have another look I think we have another look. So I wouldn't wear this together with the first look I told you about with the shorts, but I would definitely wear this with some jeans, these glasses, and some heels. That'd be cute. Oh, you know what else? Y'all, I'm just, I'm forgetful. I meant to mention about this swimsuit that it does have thumb holes. So it's long sleeve and you can put your thumb through it. So stinking cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to move um cautiously because i definitely have eyeliner swatches on the back of my hand i don't feel like getting up to clean it so please okay we just gonna be be careful i don't want to get makeup on nothing but we're gonna move into hair let me pick up my new hair pieces i want to show you guys so um ulta is having their beautiful hair event right now so i did go shopping recently and pick up some new things from ulta um 
The two items I really want to show you guys are just the tangling brush and this holding spray. So this brush, y'all, this is by Tangle Teaser. This brush has been taunting me since like December. I've been seeing these brushes in like a few of my favorite YouTubers videos and then like Andrea Renee recently posted it and I was like, all right, fine, I will get it. And as soon as I started to look at it online, my little FBI agent started putting videos of people using this brush on my timeline. But um, I really like Tangle Teaser. I, I'm saying that as someone who hasn't tried it yet, it's just me seeing that everyone has pretty decent results and an experience with these brushes. Um, I usually use a Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. It's the one with the expandable like teeth and everything. But now that my hair is a little shorter, I don't need that much um, aggression. <laughs> For lack of better words, when I'm detangling my hair, I need something a little more sturdy. And so that's why I felt like this would do me very well because it's a handle. I can just do what I need to do with no problem. So, but y'all know I mainly bought this because it's pink. If you know me, if you know me, you know that that's why I bought this brush because it's pink. But also because I feel like it's going to work. I want to detangle my hair. <laughs> so the next thing I got was the Kimra Perfect medium spray this is a holding spray so i got a silk press last week and then i have a little bit of flyaways up here from breakage because i need to start wearing my hair in a bun but um i asked one of my friends what she uses to get rid of like flyaways and she recommended another hairspray actually but i got this one because um i'm really familiar with kenra and i love kenra's products i actually use the heat protectant as well as the edge taffy it's like an edge control i use that normally when my hair is straight but i like this this is medium hole so they have a stronger hole and a lighter hole too but i've actually been styling my edges with this as well as the little flyaways that are just like sticking up in my hair so if you need a new hairspray definitely try this one i highly recommend all kenra's products are dope but um as far as what I'm showing you right now, if you need a hairspray girl, try this one. <laughs> okay, so this brush, this is a little travel brush. I really needed a brush that I could like take out of the house because y'all know I love a sleek hairstyle. My hair is normally pulled back in a bun, but I have like a main brush that I do that with, but it's kind of big. It's like a standard size brush and I don't like taking that out of the house. So I picked up this Conair one from Target. Again, yes, I did buy it because it's pink, but also because it's small and it fits in my bag, okay? So there's that. It's soft bristles. It's not too hard, but it's still firm enough to grip that hair back if I need to. It's also like small enough for me to do my edges with if I need to. So this is definitely on the go. You guys know, now that I work um, away from home, I do sometimes have to like touch things up in the store as far as my hair, my makeup or whatever. Um, and so like I am carrying more and more hygiene products out of the house with me. So honestly, I need to do like an updated what's in my bag video as far as my work bag because the whole dynamic has completely changed y'all like i be having my social media management stuff in my bag but also like i have a little makeup bag for work in case i have to do <laughs> like my makeup or my hair or something at work so oh my goodness but yes this is a really cute brush i got this from target i'll be sure to link it in the description box so remember i said i had one lifestyle item but it's not really lifestyle this is it it is my fan <laughs> So y'all, it's a little loud. Oh, she gets louder. Um, so I bought this from Amazon. I'm gonna tell y'all why I really bought this because I've been doing deep dives into my skincare. And I have lash extensions 80% of the time, 95% of the time. And so I've been washing my lash extensions like I'm supposed to, but I don't like for them to air dry for some reason. I feel like they get clumpy and I don't like when they look like this, okay? They be throwing up gang signs and alien signs and all of that so i've been brushing through them with the fan on just like when you get your lashes done and your lash tech hands you the fan to like hold so you can you know let your lashes dry so i just ordered this off amazon to do it and of course i got a pink one but to be honest with y'all this is so powerful that this can also be like my going out fan you know you get in the club or you go wherever and it's hot at night and you need a fan this is obviously powerful enough for that too i have another one but i don't know where it is that one i wouldn't use for my lashes because it's just not that's just not the kind of air that you need for your lashes it's like really like ooh. um but i also don't know where it is which kind of annoys me 
that's a sign that I have too much stuff because I really be misplacing stuff and then I'll find it like months later like oh <laughs> oh the lighting has changed a little bit my goodness um but yeah so the last two items I want to show you guys are in the fragrance category new pickups for me so the first thing I want to show you guys is the new Sol de Janeiro Beja Flora um Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. This name is so long, okay? This is the body spray. So I have shown you guys, look, everything for me is within reach, so I'm gonna just keep showing you. I've already shown you guys the body cream in my Sephora haul, but then they released the body spray, and I've seen these all over TikTok and all the other fragrances, but I've never smelt one for myself. But because this is really the only fragrance from this brand that I like, like no shade, I just don't really like coconutty, um, fragrances and I think the other two are more on the coconut side um I really like this one so I was like let me get the bottle I did not realize I ordered the big one like I thought I was getting the smaller one and when it came I was like this thing is large but y'all this smells so good it kind of smells like Baccarat and I'm not saying that it smells enough like it for it to be a dupe this is not a dupe conversation, it's just that it smells very similar. If you know what Baccarat smells like and then you smell this, please come back and let me know what you think because I said it on my Instagram stories and y'all was trying to tell me up. Low key. This much. I thought y'all loved me, but it's all good. Okay, so the notes in here are Pink Dragon Fruit and Lychee Essence, Brazilian Jasmine, Ocean Air, Hibiscus, Sheer Vanilla, Sun Musk. Sounds like the perfect summer vacation. It's giving girls trip. Y'all, my neighbors are up there moving furniture across the floor again. I don't know what they be up there doing. They are literally so loud. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the next fragrance I wanna show you guys is Gucci Flora. I'm gonna be very honest and say from the start that I was attracted to this fragrance because of the bottle. Look at how cute it is. It is literally undeniably cute, okay? Like, look. Undeniably cute. Really, really pretty. Like, it's not even just cute, it's really pretty. Anyway, so I got um, an Ulta and a Sephora gift card for Christmas, and I um, have, been, have had my eye on this fragrance for a while, but when I went to Sephora, they didn't have this bottle. They only had the trial, the travel size so I ended up buying it but then I went to Ulta and I found this one so I took that one back and I got this one instead because I wanted the full bottle I think the travel size is only pink it's only this pink with like a gold top so I really wanted to try this again this is a floral scent the notes I think these are the notes if not I'll put the correct ones on the screen but this is white gardenia um, jasmine and pear blossom very pretty fragrance, very, very gorgeous for springtime. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is actually something that I have not opened yet. Um, I've had it sitting in here for a minute and I just haven't opened it. It is a Skims package, let me grab it. Um, yeah, so because I took my precious time opening this, I was like, I might as well do it on camera with y'all. So it'll be like a little unboxing slash first impressions. I'm not gonna try it on in this video, um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got and I'll put it up on the screen. So Skims did a recent drop for their soft lounge collection, which is my favorite Skims collection. I love the cotton collection and the soft lounge are my faves. Um, fits everybody, as far as the tops are my favorite, but the leggings are an absolute no um but anyway so i got three items it's a set and a dress oh my gosh a set and a dress so i really wanted some stuff from this collection because this features the new like really asymmetric cuts and everything so this is the dress i got it in gray i thought about getting it in one of the more like neutral colors but i felt like gray would be cute especially with like white sneakers i feel like she's short She's a little short, <laughs> but it's one shoulder and there's like a little peekaboo hole right here on the side. Again, I will definitely put a picture up on the screen, but I just kind of pictured this with like an oversized cardigan or something and some white sneakers, y'all, some really cute socks. And I felt like gray could easily just like transition over into the other seasons. And then if I do like this dress, I will most definitely 
order it in other colors specifically this one this is the set that i want to show you guys this color is called oxide and i really really like it it's kind of like a taupe brownish where's the opening here it is so these are the shorts rib boxers so this is the shorts and i have these in i think like three other colors and then i just got the standard tank to go with it I always get like the regular skims tanks because they're easy to like pair with other things especially in colors like this like I don't always have to wear these shorts to you know wear this wear this top or even wear this shirt to wear these shorts because they're like neutral colors so if I wanted to do like an oversized tee or something I could easily throw these on so remember I was telling you guys or maybe you don't if you're new here so let me stop saying that um i often when i buy skims specifically i try to buy them within collection and color so like i told you guys my my um three favorite collections are the cotton collection the soft lounge collection and fits me for the tops and that's because the colors typically trends late for all three of those collections so um if I buy anything else, it'll be this color in this collection so that I can mix and match my stuff a little bit easier. So I'll probably end up buying the leggings in this color so that I can end up wearing it with this top if need be. And I'll end up buying like another top in this color so I can swap it between wearing it with these shorts or the leggings or anything else. And I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty much how I buy my Skims because I know Skims is not a cheap brand. Um, definitely like one of those investment brands but if you wear like lounge clothes and basic often you will find yourself like ordering from skims a lot and that's because the quality is literally top tier the fit of everything um, I've washed my stuff worn my stuff and it definitely wears through all that I don't put it in the dryer though I um, air dry it but that's just because I like to maintain the fabric's integrity. I literally air dry a lot of my clothes because the dryer is the actual machine that will ruin your clothes. Um, not really ruin your clothes, it just wears them down like sooner than they need to be. So there's that. But yeah, y'all, that is it for my collective haul. I know it was a little all over the place, but I've shown you guys most of the stuff that I've been buying throughout the month of April and May. Um, I'm still gonna do a May favorite, so don't worry. I just had to skip April because I just, you know, I filmed it, I didn't like the footage, I didn't wanna put it out because I wasn't proud of it, and I was like, you know what, let's just do a collective haul instead so I can take the pressure off myself, and I feel like you guys will still enjoy it. So definitely let me know what you think about my stuff, if you would get any of this, if you have any of this, you know, let's talk in the comments, girl. You know, I talk back. Um, that's it. Everything will be linked in the description box below. So be sure to check there. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for, you know, still rocking with me through my major life adjustment, you know, getting a job and all these things, y'all. But I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.